that's top automatic. People who understand engine technology have always had a bad feeling about this. Others, however, think they are doing something good for the environment or their wallet. Today, we are reveal how fatal the start-stop technology really is for your engine. Since there are countless opinions and feelings about this topic and no one can say what actually happens inside an engine when it constantly stopped and started, we've prepared two experiments that will show exactly that. Fact is, when the engine is within its ideal operating range, meaning it has sufficient oil pressure and is warm, engine wear approaches zero. For example, an Audi 2.3 5 cylinder or the well known taxi engine OM616 regularly exceed 1 million kilometers. Another fact is that the number of bearing damages compared to the total engine damage has significantly increased over the past 15 years and everyone can confirm we are far away from a mileage of 1 million. This clearly results from the political efficiency craze forcing manufacturers to integrate systems like the start-stop automatic into the market. Yet durability is so simple. The secret behind a wear-free bearing is hydrodynamic pressure. So not the oil pressure itself but the pressure that forms within a bearing and prevents the sliding partners from touching each other. This state is called fluid friction, shown here on the left. In blue the bearing, in grey the crankshaft journal and in between, in yellow, the engine oil. However, with each start-stop cycle mixed friction occurs, meaning the surface of the crankshaft journal touches the bearing creating abrasion and this is called wear. 80% of the total wear during an engine's life occurs in the mixed friction area, meaning during engine start, stop. This means every time you turn the key or your system switches off and starts your engine, you are in the wear zone. Today we will find out two things. First, how long the state of mixed friction lasts when the engine is started, cold and warm. Second, in another experiment, we will test the long-term effects of continuous starting and stopping on the bearing. For this purpose, we have prepared a vehicle that will continuously start and stop for 84 hours, simulating one year start and stop automatic. To understand the effect of the start-stop system, we first need to understand how lubrication in a sliding bearing works and what happens when the rotational speed constantly goes to zero. For this, we have cut open a crankshaft and looking at the crankshaft bearing from the front. As sliding partner, we are using a connection rod. Here we not only have the rotational movements of the shaft, but also the tumbling motion within the bearing. With this tumbling motion, we push an oil wedge ahead of us, an oil reservoir that is continuously compressed. This compression of the oil prevents the two materials from touching each other, creating a damping effect. This damping effect depends on three essential factors. First, the oil pressure, meaning the performance of the oil pump. Second, the bearing clearance depending on the manufacturing process. Third, the rotational speed or the time the bearing journal has to press the oil out. You can compare it to a syringe filled with oil that are tried to empty abruptly. That would be very hard because the oil dampens. The oil must exit through a small hole. Here it's a small bearing clearance. The oil has to leave but can't. If I continuously press it with a lower force, I can push the oil out quite easily. If the crankshaft rotates at a certain speed, the damping is so strong that the two bearing materials never touch each other. This specific threshold speed is called the runout point. Depending on the engine, this is slightly different, typically between 700 and 900 rpm. From then on, pure fluid friction occurs and there is no wear. Now we are measuring the time of the wear phase which an engine is exposed to when it is start and stopped. The first experiment will simulate the cold start. So the oil temperature will be around 22 degrees Celsius and the RPM are around 800. So it's nearly 
idle speed and we will see what happens. Let's go! Yes, I already see the shocked faces in front of the screen again. It really took a few seconds until the oil pressure even started to build up. That means it took some time until the bearing even got the possibility to break out of this mixed friction phase and run without wear. And now we will simulate the warm start at 110 degrees Celsius. Let's go again. We have now seen even with warm oil it will take quite some time until the bearing is really supplied with oil pressure and comes out of the mixed friction. And that is really frightening to see that even the warm oil still brings with it such a long period in which wear occurs. So spoken in plain terms, with every start-stop cycle wear occurs. There is now only one way to truly prove what all this means. And that is this setup here. We installed a relay that the engine starts and stops automatically for 84 hours, which according to our calculations corresponds to about one year of average start-stop usage. We installed these three bearings and want to show how much they suffered by the end of this torture test. Why they are three different types I will show in a moment, but first we will start the test now. By the way, many thanks to the customer who give us permission for this test. Of course, we know that components like the battery, the starter and the particulate filter are really put to the test in such an experiment. That's why these parts will be replaced and aside from that, the engine will be completely overhauled afterwards. We have installed three different types of bearings over in the bully. First, there's a tree metal sputter bearing mainly installed in the connection rod. It has the property of being extremely pressure resistant. This bearing can absorb a lot of force, which is why it's built into the upper part of the connection rod. The, the force comes from above and is transmitted to the crankshaft. That's why this bearing is very stable and installed here. However, it has virtually no emergency running properties because it's very hard. A conventional standard B-metal bearing consisting of a steel backing and an aluminium sliding layer has better emergency running properties. The sliding layer is significantly softer which gives it a better emergency running behavior but it's not very suitable for the new challenges and systems we are seeing in automotive development because now we need really good emergency running properties. With the start-stop system, we have increased mixed friction. That means we are repeatedly missing optional lubrication. And this has posed a not so easy challenge for bearing manufacturers. The result is a B-metal bearing, just like the conventional one we saw before, but with a polymer coating. That means the sliding layer is coated again with basically plastic particles. These are intended to reduce friction to minimum. So even if we have mixed friction, it's only minimal because the layer can touch with significant wear, at least as long as the coating is still intact. And that's exactly the property we need when we are constantly starting and stopping the engine. We will see in two days how well this really works. So two days have passed and we now have removed the bearing to see if we can see any wear. And yes, we found something. We will start with the conventional bearing. Here we can see sliding running in marks. We see a continuous scratch, which was probably a deforming particle that either migrated in the oil due to mixed friction or just on its own. It's hard to say exactly, but we have clear washouts here in the middle area and that is clearly due to mixed friction. It's even more evident on the polymer coated bearing. Because we applied this black sliding, it's now visual, very easy to see where this sliding coating is starting to come off. It's not bad that it's coming off, 
it's the, it's the rule point of the emergency running property that the sliding layer of the bearing is protected by this polymer layer. But after just one year in quotation marks to already see this level of wear, that's pretty heavy. Let's assume to the customer continuous driving. Okay, the four year warranty might just hold up, but what's then? Then the sliding layer is definitely gone and the bearing is basically led to itself. And what that means, we all know, impending engine damage. This guy here didn't have any engine damage yet and has already run millions of miles. So let's take a look what the motor looks like after a million miles without start-stop automatic. The OM617 engine or its little brother, the OM616 from Mercedes-Benz, are a guarantee for longevity. And it's not uncommon for these engines to last more than a million kilometers. But I'm still surprised how good this bearing shells look after running for such a long time and such many miles. You can see, I wouldn't say there's no wear, but at least so little wear that this bearing still works well, which can hardly say it for the bearing shells of this bully. So we German can build engines if we were allowed to.